Hey church, I just want to tell you how amazing you are. I'm just so amazed and so astounded all the time at how we as a church and you as individuals reach out into the communities that you're a part of, as well as the encouragement that we can share as we go through this journey together. It sure is exciting times to be alive. That may not be something that you hear much of at the moment in the news media. But I want to share something with you that that in John chapter 16, Jesus said, in this life, in this world, there will be a lot of trouble. There will be a lot of tribulation. And it's everything from flat tires to bad hair days to world pandemics. But friends, understand this, that in John 16, Jesus said this, don't worry. In other words, don't fear. He said, because I have overcome the world. And even in Matthew chapter 16 also, it's he says this, and he says in his and, and verse 18, he says to Peter, and I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound on in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed on heaven in heaven friends i can't encourage you enough to gather together and pray there might be some restrictions and there's a lot of wisdom in what the government is instructing us to 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 do and uh, and i encourage you to adhere to those uh, those restrictions but friends you know we can't live out the come walk with me invitation if we can't ring up somebody and say hey Come and pray with me. Hey, come and walk together. Let's do life together and let's pray together. I love it in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, where it says that they overcame him, being the enemy, the devil, uh, Lucifer himself, and all of his evil cronies that are gutless and worthless. I, I love it in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and it says, They overcame him, they being you and me, you and I overcame him by the word of our testimony and through the blood of Jesus Christ that has been shed for us. Friends, we are overcomers. We are not underneath. We are the head and we are not the tail. And that is why we have this beautiful invitation to say, hey, come and walk with me. Come and do life together. And you know what? Jesus extends that same invitation to us. He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And you will never be alone. And that's why he he says also to us, hey, during this time, don't let your heart be troubled. Come and walk with me. Friends, I hope that's been an encouragement. I'm certainly excited by just talking about it. And uh, I look really look forward to seeing you in the coming uh, weeks. And uh, if you feel that you need to stay away, then that's fine. That's fine. If you feel that you need to stay away, then that's totally fine. As I was recording this, I just got a message and I just uh, had to cut and paste this bit on the end. So if you feel you need to stay away, then that's totally fine. We have prepared the environment here for you uh, and we will most likely be under 100 people. So uh, God bless you. Uh, Continue to walk in faith, not fear, and be uh, proactive in your partnership with, with wisdom and what we need to do as a community. God bless you. Bye for now.